The black fly invasion is underway in our area, ruining barbecues, soccer games, or anything else outdoors. Good evening, I'm Derek Dice, in for Nadine today. They appear every spring, but some years they're even more of a nuisance. And this year, the black flies are back in full force. KXY4's Alyssa Donovan is working for you. So Alyssa, how can people avoid being bitten? Well, Derek, first of all, you're going to want to avoid areas like these. These bugs like to hang out in marshy areas or retention ponds, so if you go there, you're more likely to encounter these black flies. Now, they don't carry disease, but they do bite hard enough to draw blood. They also leave behind an itchy welt, and they are most active on cloudy days with low wind and lots of humidity. Spring is in the air. And so are the bugs. They can be quite a nuisance. Spokane Regional Health District says black flies were the worst in 2012. The following years, the bugs were less of a problem until now. It looks like this year is another not so good year. The flies live and breed in wet conditions. And our recent warm weather could be a contributing factor to what seems to be an infestation. This year, they're more numerous than in years past, but that happens. Yesterday, kids were playing on the playground at Moran Prairie Elementary. That's when they started complaining about being bitten. Little did they know, those bites were from pesky black flies. And with plenty of marshy areas around the school, it's no surprise they're preying on the students. So black fly actually uses little pinchers on their, on their head and they just pinch your skin to, so that you bleed. The playground was closed and after school activities were canceled yesterday. But with a light breeze in the air today, the flies will be less active. So recess and outdoor school activities are back on. And if you are planning to head to an area like this to go for a stroll, you're going to want to wear long pants and long sleeve shirts in light colors. Now, if you do get bitten by one of these bugs, you're going to want to treat it immediately. You need to wash the wound and then put some anti-itch cream on it to make sure it doesn't get infected. Reporting in Spokane, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News. Yeah, they are a nuisance for sure. Thank you, Alyssa.